Welcome to RATFRAC, which is a column. It uses the rigorous model and it can be used for multi-stage vapor liquid equilibrium. So what does this mean? Multi-stage implies different stages. For instance, distillation columns, absorption and stripping, etc. And vapor liquid, as the name implies, requires vapor liquid equilibrium. So even binary mixtures or you can go directly to the multiple component mixtures. Now, uh, the typical use of RATFRAC is ordinary distillation. Even though you can still use it for absorption, we're going to check out that. Reboiler absorption, that is essentially addition of reboiler system here. Stripping, which is the reverse of absorption and reboil stripping is similar to this one right here. Remember that we have this stuff right here goes out, this goes up. That will be our rat frag. We will learn how to set the rat frag in absorption mode or distillation mode. And you can also use it in extractive and asiatropic distillation. Rat frag can model columns where two liquid phases exist. That is, remember guys, liquid one and liquid two. For instance, aqueous phase versus organic phase or if there are chemical reactions present. Also, very important guys, that if you want to continue with further analysis on the distillation column, you gotta check out this license, Aspen Rate-Based Distillation uh, Software. It's very useful if you're using distillation columns, very similar to that of the heater exchanger. Okay. When can we use RATFRAC? When we have three phases, or at least two, liquid vapor or liquid one, liquid two, vapor mix. When the boiling points are either very narrow or very wide. And when the system is very non-ideal. What do I mean with non-ideal? That the deviation is very, very strong. Something similar to this. Oh, actually, something instead of the beautiful ideal system right here. Now the interesting part on RATFRAC is that it's very good for dimensioning. So once you get your results, you can verify the size, diameter, and calculate the height of the column. Because we already got the feed stage, total number of stages, size between stages, duties of reboiler and condenser and so on. And the main idea of the red frag is that it's based on the mesh model, which is the basis of most of the models. Number one is mass balance. Number two is, I like to call it energy balance, which is actually enthalpy balance, is the H value right here. Then the most obvious one is the equilibrium ratios or balances. You know that the main basis of this is liquid vapor equilibrium. And finally, the sum of molar composition must be equal to one. That is, if you're using binary or more than three components, the total addition of the mole composition must be one. This is the mesh model.